we made it to uh, Sheikness and um, had a really good run over here. Dogs ran well. And again, when we got here, it's kind of the same thing we've been fighting for the last several days. And that is they'll have a really nice run. And then uh, afterwards, their body acts like that run was a really big deal. Um, so we stayed for about six hours. And then I came back and did a whole bunch more massage, trying to get them loosened up. Um, they weren't ready, so I gave them another six hours came out and it was beginning to be clear that they're not really responding to this stuff and these guys are just not well. So we decided to uh, pull out when we were looking through the team and couldn't find you know, enough, enough dogs that would be sound enough to go the remaining distance and have a good time doing it. Kind of our problem here has been right off the bat, um, well when we got here a lot of you guys know we had some dogs with a virus. And like Barley got hit really hard with that. So did Loban. Loban you know, wasn't able to go on the team because of it. I thought everybody else was over it, but they seemed to have lingering effects. So right away in the race when we started out, they were, they were running really well. And then after even a very simple run, it seemed like their body was still just getting over something. And they would have a, they'd be more beat up from a very easy run than they should have been. So even though we had a very easy schedule starting out, I backed it off even more, made it more easy. Um, still wasn't quite doing it. We took our 16 hour mandatory very early and Levayak before we had planned. And uh, even that didn't seem to be enough to turn them around. From that point on, we've just been kind of taking it easy, trying to get everybody healthy again and seeing if we could have a team that we could race. And even on a very easy schedule, trying to get them healthy they're just getting farther and farther down. So as you can see, they're, they're happy. They came flying in here. I've been on the brake trying to keep them slow so they don't you know, beat themselves up, but um, they're still putting a lot on the line. And then after a run, they're just all around kind of sore. And it's just starting to compile a little bit. We do have you know, some diarrhea from that same virus and um, so yeah, there's just not a group of dogs that would have fun going from here. So my deal with these guys is, you know, if we're going to go mushing, it's going to be something that they can do and they can do well. So to go from here to the finish, I don't think it's something that they could do well or have a good time doing it with their bodies in the shape that they're in. So it's a little bit disappointing for me traveling, you know, halfway around the world and uh, we never really were able to race in this race. We've been going, but not racing, just trying to hold them together. Um, but for the dogs, they don't really know that this is a race. They don't really have any idea. All they know is that they don't feel real great right now, that they're a little bit sore here or there. And so that's what we need to be cognizant of. And uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job of you know, making the right decisions, noticing things in time, being able to adjust and that's why we were able to make it as far as we did. Anyway, we made the decision. We're pulling out here. This is the first time I've ever pulled out of a race, which is kind of an odd feeling, but I feel like it was a pretty clear choice. There wasn't really a whole lot of other choice. This team is not a team that um, is in a position right now to keep going down the trail. They're happy. They're very happy, which I like to see. They were having fun mushing, but just... Um, still fighting off a bug. So <laughs> bad luck, I guess. We've been very fortunate and very blessed and had a lot of great races. And not all of them are we gonna have all the stars aligned. So we're gonna make the right decisions one step at a time for these guys. And today the right decision is to stop here. Mm.